Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Swinsaw campaign. This is episode 12. We pick it up from turn 58 in the winter season of 205. And we end the last episode uh, one prestige point away from becoming Emperor. And uh, we're going to wrap things up with a couple of fights. Uh, really easy ones just to delegate away this army that was invading us a little bit. We have this temporary army set up to take care of it. So we're just going to quickly delegate them. We already beat them once, so they should just be off the battlefield after this fight. Well, I think we'll just release both. Really no interest in these bandit characters or their retinues. And we got a level up on Handang. Uh, let's see. Probably just want to give him a speed boost. Yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to get rid of all the retinue. Because these are just really temporary mercenary units that we send out to take care of this issue. And now that's resolved. We don't need the units anymore. We will keep the army on the field though. This is a pretty decent grouping and they get along nicely. So we'll keep them around. And these guys will instead take over the defense here because it seems like this is where we're going to get attacked. Elsewhere, we can get a heads up because of our new ally in Liu Bei, giving us full vision of his territory. So we'll just stay around this area. Um, we can keep them a little lower to maybe help defend the town. And then down south, we have yellow turbine rebellions, but they didn't spot any items, so that's fine. That just means we'll pick, you know, some low-level generals like Luizhi here, who's rank 3, and she's on assignment. Um, Jiang Qin, who's rank 2. Get them to come in, level up a little bit in this fight against the rebels. All right. We can't get the siege resolved in Badong because we don't have siege weapons. Alright, he will stay out here alone. We'll get this fight done next turn and uh, we'll be able to upgrade. Uh, I think just by building the Runan. Uh, settlement even before the siege will become king the instant we end turn so we're looking forward to that and to see what changes with the court um, but first let's spend our cash on our settlements finally can get the state workshop going here this needs to level up Mm, maybe I'll regret that one. Maybe we'll come back, cancel it. Seems like there could be other ones that's more important to be built first. But I could be wrong. We seem to be building these quite a bit. Alright, we want that fixed. Waiting on reform for that one. Oh, here's where we want a marketplace. Mm, we can also consider to build... Like, if we have empty slots, right? We can... Try to get those school and temples out of the way. Right. So. Back to a school. And there's one more commander with tons of empty spot. We'll do a temple. That way we can... Oh, actually there won't be any more factions to re-invoke. Now, will there? These missions will still finish. But... Um, we won't have access to the council again. Mm, it's a shame, but it's fine. We're becoming a kingdom very soon. So that's worth it. Do have extra builds here. So this can go to tier 5. Wonderful. 1,500 left. Not much left in terms of building option. I think we'll upgrade this. Hmm. Oh, we can also declare war on Hanzhong this turn and become emperor right away. 
Yeah, let's not wait, actually. Guess we don't even need to wait till next turn. Now, maybe we can push him to rank 8. No, not enough. But this battle should help him. Okay, he's still quite a bit short, so this battle isn't going to do it. Alright, Zhang Wu is defending it himself. The Celestial Master. <laughs> Alright, let's take him down. It's only a large town. There's no walls. Uh, we'll still fight this. We'll give him a good end. Uh, we also want to have a chance to capture him, even though he's the leader, so he won't be joining us, but maybe we'll get some fondness developed here. Alright, we're loaded up in here. Uh, it's a snowy day. I think they will charge out. Hmm, it's a weird shaped town. This side seems to be better because then they'll have to come out from this slanted gate area. I mean, it should be a quite simple battle. We can look for a duel again. Yeah, there's one person who's willing. Alright. Come on. Get in range. Don't be shy. I don't think we need any bonuses from... Oh, oh, he's asking me. Okay, if that's the case, we can draw him back and we can actually use some of our bonuses. Then Chen Gong and these cavalry can actually contribute. Wasting shots on cavalry. Okay, we should have controlled it better and just let them shoot the door. But it's fine. Alright, let's fire this way. Apply the debuffs. There we go. Right, Cavalry's coming at us. Run back. We'll take care of the archers. None of these guys really pose any threats. Uh, we're, babys we're babysitting Huang Gai so much after he lost that one duel. Now it's like, gotta make sure he doesn't take any more beatings here. What? The message is. Uh, scared us. Time to erase some generals. He's gonna die relatively fast. I'll let him route. You came back. Bad idea. All 
All right, it's just Zhang Lu basically holding up the entire morale. All right, we'll stop chasing him. There we go. Alrighty. Now we're gonna be king. Hanshang 天下之事,瞬息万变 Alrighty, ranked up. We're now emperor. Let's see who the other two emperor are. Kingdom of Liang, Ma Teng. Kingdom of Song, Yuan Shao. Interesting, okay. So Yuan Shao actually turned out alright. And also got the emperor from Cao Cao now. Okay. All right. Doctor who prevent disaster. Uh, okay. All right. No one new here. We'll upgrade this to a small city. The build is pretty good, except for their selling food, which we will fix after. Actually, let's fix that first. I really don't like the food penalty here. So... <laughs> Matung put the capital way in the back. That's super annoying. But it looks like he has consolidated much of the northwest. And it's interesting how the other empire, they're all in the north. I didn't expect Yuan Shao to be doing so well here. But Zhang Yan did get destroyed, so maybe he actually expanded quite a bit. Uh, it's also strange that he didn't have a shot at this uh, emperor seat. Usually he does pretty well. And also the west. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like we have to make our final push through this whole map. Might actually get to paint the map orange this time. Um, that's totally fine. Let's see. We also got a little bit of money after that fight. So let's see if there's where, where we need to upgrade the most. Yeah, what like an end building here. Okay. And then Zhang Lu has one territory left. This army will go take it next turn, and then we'll proceed down into the Shuba region. I think we have a decent relationship with Maten right now, the trade deal plus the non-aggression pack, but immediately the faction influence for being, you know, two kingdoms is going to create friction between us, but maybe he won't turn us right away, especially since we do have some common enemies as well. Um, as for the other kingdom, we really haven't really, we haven't seen Yuan Shao. Yeah, we actually don't see him in our diplomacy screen, so it doesn't really matter. We do have a few new trade partner potential here. With people who we don't want to trade with. So there's nothing we can do here. They're not going to abdicate to us on the first turn. Yeah, and all our enemies are quite weak. I'm most curious about what happens to the court. Yeah, they reset the court. And the bonuses? Five trade routes. Uh, five trade routes. 10% peasantry. So it's still the same effects for these five. Construction. Oh, this one. Okay, so some of the effects are, the effects are still there. That's nice. Okay, so basically like Minister of Justice is the old administrator one in the bottom. Okay. And this one effect still there. And this effect is the corruption one. So there's still the 10 unique positions. They're just scattered among the three excellency and the nine minister positions. Okay, I can accept that. Um, 
we just gotta shuffle the court up a bit because these seven on the top provide faction wide bonuses and we gotta be a little bit picky about those hmm family tree think about who can be heir okay our sister is coming of age in two turns all right we're gonna take a while here just to figure out things so our mom is not bad as heir still because the outsider bonus is quite nice minus five percent corruption he doesn't provide anything else which is a bummer but I think we can tolerate her as heir for now until one of our kids come of age we're not passing it to Sun Quan Sun Quan only got the job because we had a sudden death or else he would just be you know another branch in the family Oh, we really didn't talk about these characters. So we did recruit Chen Wu. Chen Wu historically is one of these younger generation uh, Wu officers. Uh, he sadly died quite young. Uh, he joined Sun Ce in the southern campaigns. And then when Sun Ce retook Lu Jiang, he took over Lu Jiang's uh, armored units. Uh, they're called Lu Jiang Shangjia. And he served as a general for Sun Ce then. And after Sun Ce's death, he served as general for Sun Quan. And during the assault on Hefei, uh, during one of Sun Quan's many assaults on Hefei, uh, Zhang Liao's men were able to beat him and kill him on the battlefield. So he died quite young in about 215-ish. So maybe he has like 10 more years left. Uh, but he'll, he'll live in our, uh, in our gameplay and is quite capable general. And then we also recruited uh, Zhu Zhi over here. So Zhu Zhi, obviously older. He served alongside uh, Huang Gai, Chen Pu, Han Dang with Sun Jian. So one of the, you know, old guard group. And then after Sun Jian's death, he joined uh, Yuan Shu, much like these generals. And it was he who kind of suggested to Sun Ce to try to get his own freedom and go south. And he also, you know, um, protected Sun Ce's family quite a bit. So when Liu Yao first you know, took on his role as the governor of the Yang province over here. Uh, he was in conflict with Yuan Shu right away, who, you know, kind of occupied this area despite no mandate from the head government. Uh, so he had to, Liu Yao, instead of setting up his government on this side, had to set up his separate government on this side. And Sun Ce's family was living over here. So Sun Ce was in Yuan Shu's army, but like mom, uh, wife, kids, brother would all be living down south. And uh, Zhu Zhi had the insight, foresight, I guess, to predict that, you know, the conflict with Liu Yao could cause harm to Sun Ce's family. So he had his family moved away to safety. So his family, quite a, the entire Sun clan, owes quite a bit uh, to Zhu Zhi. I think those are the only two that we kind of recruited that we managed to find uh, that are Wu officers. We also would love to get Ling Tong because he's one of the few Wu uh, champions. We don't have many champions. We have... Guo Si and this random character who is a farmer that we recruited. Um, but that's that's about it. Um, right, speaking of heir, Da Chao's qualified because she's the wife, but her bonus is not as good. And the beautiful thing hurts the satisfaction a little bit. So we're not going to switch her up. Uh, Lady Wu will keep her job. So in all sense, I think we'll just let her keep her items as well. Uh, some trade influence, some character experience. I don't think we have the set. Right, it'll be another 10% character experience. Uh, not so coveted. All right, so she's keeping her job. Who's our other five characters that we can kind of put in top tier? Well, Jun is probably going to stay administrator. He can also make a great uh, leadership role. You get satisfaction and you get income. But I think it's better if we keep him as a uh, administrator. All right, he will be a nice character. 5% to all sources, minus 10% building uh, upkeep. He rubs people the wrong way, so we lose 5 satisfaction, but that's fine. Now with 7 character contributing authority to increase happiness, we can definitely let him do it here. All right, so he's one. And I think Li Jue will actually get a roll just because his bonuses are so great. Another 10% retinue new upkeep discount plus 5% replenishment. We're losing 15 satisfaction. 
combining him and um, Yu Fan over there. He has Honest, so that's good. And we can counteract those 15 with just Zhang Zhou. He has 15 straight up. That's really all he contributes. Uh, and four more here. So it would be net four positive, and then the concubine would activate. Taishut's the 10% range damage plus 10 melee evasion. That's actually really fitting for ooh, with the mercenary infantry and the mercenary archers. Zhou Yu also has a minus 10%. Wow, we can get our units really cheap. It's kind of ridiculous. I already found three characters with my 10%. So, alright, Bandit Killer is not that good. So I think I think we're settled on Zhou Yu, Li Jue, and Yu Fan for now. We don't have any Silk or Spice yet, so there's no rush there. Guosi also has really nice uh, minus 10% construction cost. We could also throw him up there. Also good against spying. Yeah, I think I think I think we're happy that way. This is also nice. 15% uh, income from industry is pretty underrated. I don't think Zhang Hong and Zhang Hong is all about spying. Zhang Zhao is going so Zhang Zhao get a place. Tai Shih Tzu maybe get a place. Zhou Yu gets a place. All right, let's start. Let's start working them out. So we want Zhou Yu up here. We don't need Zhou Tai up here. Zhou Tai can come down. Zhou Tai can give us the maximum finance bonus right now. Right, because this is needs a rank eight for max bonus. It's one of the converted positions. This one's a spying position. This one's general health. Yeah, he can be the finance minister. It's fine. Usually, the finance minister historically is a, a general because they've been, uh, you know, well versed in dealing with. Oh, actually, we want three administrators. Right. Zhang Zhao is gonna stay on as tutor. We'll move Lu Meng down to. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he can deal with the recruitment. This is the officer one with extra rank. All right. So Grant Commandant's freed up. We want him to come to this post. We want Zhou Yu. I guess Zhou Yu can take Grand Commandant. That way we get his bonus of minus 10%. We also get six armies, minus 15% recruitment cost. Then Zhou Tai can come here to give us our three administrator, which is key. And then we said we want to put. Li Jue up here. We'll give him the minor Grand Excellency position. Guo Si. Oh, you know what? Um, Zhang Zhao go be the tutor. Zhou Yu be the chan. Oh, he already moved. Ugh. Chancellor position. See, we're we're handing these positions over to like Guo Si and Li Jue. Just because their bonuses are so nice. Oh, actually, we'll give him the chancellor position. Peasantry boost. Character salary bonus. I think Huang Gai should take this. Or income from all source. He's close to rank 8. Whichever bonus we want the most. All right, one of Guo Si and Li Jue is not getting the job. Which one though? Minus ten percent revenue upkeep. I think 
Guosu is not going to get the job because the construction cost is not that important. So we'll put Li Jue here, we'll put Tai Shi Tzu here. Yeah, we'll throw... We'll throw Chen Pu in charge of our household. He can take care of the spying one. He can take care of the general health. We'll get some combat bonuses there. And then the rest of these are more random. Oh, but what about our... Hmm, right, the reason why he never had a job is because he was here. Okay. Uh, we have to shuffle next turn. I forgot about the administrator. Hmm. What about our two new sentinels? Maybe they can be administrators. All right, Jolter can definitely be a. Oh, his traits are not great. That's the thing. But his uh, skills is set up correctly. Yeah, both of them don't have good traits. I mean, it's not like. It's not like Trempu has great traits either. He just has super high exper uh, expertise. Yeah, we'll we'll let we'll let our unique characters be ministers, and we'll let these guys be um, administrators here. So Changsha definitely needs one. He's on assignment, so we gotta cancel that. Um. So he will be an administrator. What about Lu Su? Hmm. Actually, now I think about it, Taishu's the bonus is probably better. Just let him be an administrator. I mean, he's, it's combat bonus. It's nice, but like maybe we can use something else. All right, you can deal with foreign relationship, and Sun Quan can deal with our family matter. We'll leave a spot open so we can shuffle people around for now. Actually, Zhang Hong should have been dealing with foreign relationship. It's okay. Uh, well, we can shuffle later. All right. I think I'm okay with the setup for now. This bonus we're giving up right now is what? Military supplies, so not a big deal. We are missing two administrators. We could move Chen Pu down. One of them is going to Zhu Zhi, and the other one's going to someone else. I don't know who. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Uh, do we have any characters we could recruit to help us out? Not really. All right, we're definitely making a lot more now. Turncoats. Liu Bei. Zheng Jiang. Uh, Alright, I think we can actually enter. Oh my god, Liu Bei wants to ask Cao Cao to join our military alliance. So this is going to be the alliance of Liu Bei, Cao Cao, and Sun Ce. 
the Three Kingdoms Alliance. I mean, I'm o I'm okay with this. I mean, Liu is happy if we vote yes, so I think we vote yes. I don't care. I don't, Cao Cao might join, but highly unlikely because it's negative. Cao Cao rejected. Okay. All right. They're coming out to battle us, so they're just giving us the city for free next turn. We'll just delegate this. We still have to take it next turn, but it'll be easier. All right. Wow. All right, temple's done, school's done, and that's it. I mean, once we get a spy in uh, Liu Zhang's faction, then we'll get another one done, but that's it. There's no more uh, missions going forward. Chen Po reached level 7. Uh, we can get him Tenacity of Steel, make him even stronger. And uh, we'll just delegate this to capture this. Alright, got a random general. Maybe someone useful. Ooh, we got another farmer character, another champion. We're gonna... Oh, clumsy. We're still gonna keep him. Farmer is pretty great. So, that's not bad. Let's grab another reform. So, I think level 4 in has been waiting for us for a while now. There's really no excuse not to get it. And over here, we want to convert to the faction white income. Population is good. We'll demolish that one. Convert that one. We don't have the reforms to convert, even though I kind of want to. We'll keep this for now. I think we're healthy enough to actually just go for it here. There we go. Alright, we should be able to reach it next turn. Zhang Lu is trying to muster up a force to defend the toolmaker, but I don't think he has enough. I think we can actually delegate and just destroy his faction. Yep, say goodbye to his faction. 100% capture rate. Bright. Oh, Liu Chong. Oh, he's uh, moved on from uh, after Liu Bao's defeat. Um, let's see. I think we will kill you for that item. Alright, Zhang Lu's destroyed. Now this army can rest up a little bit before entering into the Shu region. Um, things should be pretty easy for them. We just need a couple of turns to heal from all this um, delegate, and then this army can join them on the side. We want to upgrade this. 4,000. Yeah, we'll, we'll build it up. Alright, they're going to take that. We're going to let this... Uh, we're going to give them an army. We'll move them closer over here. Give them an army. Take care of the old turbans. Uh, take care of the last piece of land by Zhu Fu over here and here. And then we'll go into the Hot Empire. And they're probably just headed straight south. I don't think they need to go meet up with the two forces here. They'll be enough to take care of the Shu region. Um, meanwhile, let's see. What else do we need to do? Alright. Lope is keeping an eye on things for us. This army has nothing to do, but that's probably a good thing. We'll let them hover around here. This group will hover around here. All right, I think we moved all our armies that need to be moved. Before we build, we still need to shuffle the courts. Um, we need to find two administrator. One, I think we decided was going to be Zhu just for some, you know, basic income boost and also corruption reduction. Nyan's a good choice. Um, 
Where else is a good choice? Yangzhou, we don't own everything. Badong eventually would be a good choice for a champion. Hanzhong doesn't need one. Shangyong, Runan, Nanyang. I think Nanyang is the one. Jianye, oh, Jianye got taken. Oh, okay, so someone got taken out of Jianye. So I guess someone to go back into Jianye. And then we have one more. This is the real debate. Do we want Taishitsu to be sitting here or do we want Taishitsu to be here? Because if we take Taishitsu out of the leadership positions, well, Guo Si is angry with us. I mean, we can summon him with uh, his old buddy here. At least get rid of his uh, lack of purpose. I mean, the only reason we kind of recruited him is to let him fight. Like, have, I, I, we thought we were going to use him in court for the construction costs. Hmm. <laughs> we put him with someone he has grudge against. <laughs> he got kicked out. Um. Alright, this is not going to be a working relationship. We'll recall him. We'll let him stand here by himself. Um, <clears throat> what are we going to do? What are we going to do about... Our last administrative position. We can just save it as a flex position. Eventually we want it in Nanhai. And we need one in Changwu. Uh, Luo Jun is going to come to Changwu instead of Yu Zhang once that gets taken by us. I think we'll let him stay here for now for combat bonuses. And we'll keep both of these open so we can always shuffle people easily. Alright. So, oh, I gotta go back for share expertise. Uh, who needs a rank up? He needs a rank up. Give us that. Oh, actually, we want the corruption reduction rank up. So Huang Gai gets it first. It's okay. We'll have enough for another one next turn. So Trimple is gonna get one next. Firebomb. Uh, is there anything we can do to make you slightly happier with us? Here, take 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 that. Well, that's a good item. Um, our administrators also need an item shuffle up. Take this public order. We can offer him this and this for a little bit of extra resolve for population growth. That's it. We got nothing else. Um, let's see. I think we're pretty set up everywhere else. Uh, we just have to do the buildings. Go tea house tier four, which is what we got the reform for. Ah, uh, Changsha really needs a lot more help. Um, let's build that. Salt mine can be upgraded. There's no discount for salt mine. It's not considered one of the mines. Oh, this has no um, no in. We should work on that as well. That's crucial. That is also crucial here. Right, we don't technically need food. Marketplace will probably be the build. Nyan probably will go tall at the end. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Mm. All right, let's just check the money situation. Right, that's crucial. Let's 
say goodbye to temple. Where do we build the school? Xiaoyang? Yeah, let's get rid of it. Alright. Now we just gotta get the Simons in place. Well, we actually have enough money to upgrade. Oh, because it's super cheap. Because all the discount from the purple buildings. It's nice. Alright. Who's missing assignments? Right. You could use some extra commerce. You have industry. Some, who, who's doing some green buildup? Oh, actually, I know who needs to do green build up. They actually need. Oh, they only need one more building, though. Oh, they need help. All right, quick peek at turncoat situation, and we're good to go. Let's continue. Oh, Yuan Shao, declare war on us. Can't stand another kingdom. All right. And we can't escalate because... Why can't we escalate? Well, it's fine. We don't need to. Maybe because he's ready. I don't know if he's... I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, Cao Cao peace out Kingdom Liang. Zanba is going to attack us. Okay, another enemy on this side. Got an armor. Silver. Uh, no one interesting, but we can check their items. Regular bow. Ah. Nothing really good. Yeah. So Liu Bei, why didn't they join us? Mm. It's fine. He's still good as a buffer state. So we are going to get more enemies on this side. Zhengjiang Zanba and Kingdom of Song. And Kong Rong is in the Lion's War with us as well. Elsewhere, we're just cleaning up here. Let's get ourselves this coveted... Um... Weapon Craftsman. Uh... I'm okay with medium casualties. We have a little bit of a long run time to leave this area so we can heal up. All right, they all have good weapons because they've been guarding this thing for a while. Capture 25 region north of the Yangtze River. Okay. Upgrade tier 3. We're going to go to war with Hu Mao next. Basically, we'll conquer everything to the west as well. All right, big army is coming. It's time to give them a legit force. Oh, we also have access to um, imperial units now, like actual imperial units. Um, we will make a crossbow army soon, but not on him because he has so many set ready. Uh, once we switch his armor, he will be really good in terms of firing rate. So we can't give him this which I'll give to whoever will have that crossbow army. So we'll stick to Onyx Dragons though. And we're gonna do just two trebuchets. Okay, what do we want on him? Actually in that case, since we have two potential cavalry commanders, we'll go all charge uh, shock cavalry there. On him, I think we'll go a mix of Four of these, and then just a makeshift front line. I think that works. Because these can also be sort of front lining a little bit. 
And they shouldn't be able to take us. I don't think we want to stay a large city here. We're not really developing it. At least not yet. Alright, this is important. This is important. Yeah, we'll let them come. Do whatever they want. We'll wait another turn to give everyone a little bit more time to heal. And then we'll go descend into Basi. Elsewhere, they're holding defensively. They're holding defensively. They're still waiting for rebellions here. They need to hurry up with the colonization down here. All right, we have once again enough points to rank someone up. It's probably going to be Trempool this time. Not enough, uh, but we can do it again next turn. So there's that. Mm. I'm going to wait on that one. Alright, we have no money. That's fine. Uh, let's continue. Alright, Gokai joining the war. Made a weapon. Imperial bow. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not great. I'll declare war against them. Oh, trade deals. Trade deals. Do we have to keep them alive then? I mean, we have other things to do. We can definitely still keep them alive. We can sail down to the iron mine. Because I feel like we have to give chase over here. We'll take an extra trade route and we'll chase them down. Crushing defeat. What is the AI thinking? Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, loaded up in here just so we don't take casualties. I think it's because we have a lot of cavalry and they have a lot of spearmen. G militias to be. You know, if you want to go down the list. Mm, let's see. Put them on the side. Let's see, they're going to be all over the place. I want to keep them hidden. There we go. That's one. And then over here. I mean, we have Zhou Tai. I don't know how we can lose. They're probably going to go into the forest quite a bit. They're also exhausted from marching. So I, I have like no idea how the AI thought we were going to lose this. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, why not? I have confidence in a level 8 Zhou Tai beating up whoever. Jotai could use a better weapon though. We got a Warglaive from the execution from the weaponsmith. We could swap his weapon after this. Uh, 
Oh, there's towers here. Are they not mar they're not marching towards us? Hmm. Uh, I want to see the execution. We'll move our units up later. Uh, now they're moving. Okay. Or not. There we go. Ah, oh, just gutted him. Wasn't very impressed. Alright. Light up the forest. Alright, he's on his horse. Now we're pretty much on this. What are they going to do to us? Two angry strategists chasing us down. Alright, we're going to move to the side first. Alright, right back at it. Just want to make sure we get the fire started. I'll take on this one. Oh yeah, scared of the fire. They'll bounce back once they leave the fire range. These guys are a little annoying. We'll use our calves to run down their calves. Once they get closer. Alright, going back into the forest. Ooh, fire arrows. Gorgeous. Alright, go kill a general. Alright, time to go. Stop firing. This one gives everyone a speed bonus, which is really good for cavalry charges. Because, you know, speed times your mass, it's your impact. Physics still works in this game. Alright, chased him away. Let's get him. I think he also causes scare because of the title we gave him. Yeah, it's just this unit, I think, mainly. Alright, they made short work of these. Look at their melee cavalry. 168 charge. Look at our melee cavalry. Like close to 300 charge. They really need to just surrender. Alright. They have more unit bouncing back. Maybe if we kill the leader. Alright, is it over now? Oh, he has an over. Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought it was an overseer. I would love to have an overseer. That does not look braced to me. Alright, route. You guys. We can lose our mount. Uh, rather not, though. This guy's still bouncing back. Take care of that. Come on, stop bouncing back. You had enough.
Oh, they have a fire. Can we throw it? Yeah, nice. Right. He's gonna lose his mount. Or not. They didn't brace their spears. Okay. Zhou Tai and Sun Quan fighting back to back. And a bunch of ladies come. Alrighty. Beat them down. Alright, clearly barely won the battle. Alright, got his item. Ooh, a burn officer. I mean, we'll just take him for being a burn officer. We'll gather some goodwill and just release people. Alright, let's end him. Finally, now we get the decisive victory delegate. Uh, see, now he's willing to join us, but do we really want him? Not really. Alright, we're gonna actually just take this route down to take the livestock farm and then loop back into the Yellow Turban territories because our dear brother here is gonna take care of. Oh, not what we wanted to do, but good thing we didn't go in. We wanna go into the water and then go over here. This army might be facing some issues soon. I expect Yuan Shao to send someone down. Alright, we're pretty much rested. Probably lose like 200 men. Ooh, a little bit more. Okay. More than I would like. Now I'm a little worried for this army. Alright, we'll take a step out to give us the retreat option in the future. I don't want to be dealing with rebels here. I would like to convert this, but we're upgrading here, which can wait because this conversion is important. Yeah, it's built nicely. We can take that build any day. Thirty K to spend. We actually have money this time. So let's just build everything that we want to build without worrying about running out of money here. We don't want to build the rice paddy, so that can't wait. Waiting on the mining discount to co come in on the reform. We'll probably get it next uh, next spring. All right, looks like we're probably going to keep Guangling, so we're going to upgrade that one. Over here, Yangzhou. Uh, Yangzhou is the weird build right now. Mm. I should get some food. We'll get all three income types here. The in building is actually the one that's out of place. We don't actually need the in building here. Maybe a forge. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's do the forge. Hey, we still have money left over. Um, if that's the case, we might start going tall, especially in Jianye. Let's go. All right, we also have enough for share expertise. It's time to push his bonus over. Oh, don't tell me this is the construction bonus. Okay, good. It's not.
Alright, Chempo is also rank 8. Uh, what to get him though? Probably Bravery. Actually, he doesn't need it because he has General of the Guard. Actually, he still needs it because he still needs Charge Reflect. A uh, Charge Negate. Okay. We can probably go out and hand out more titles. Alright, we have so much money to spare, we might as well build these. Rebellion, one turn. Alright. There we go. We'll find you a few buddies. They said they fixed all the characters with their wrong classes, but I think because we started this mid-campaign for patch 1.5.2, that's why Hanfu was messed up. And I still think Wuss is messed up, as he still thinks he's a vanguard. Um, I'll give him... Uh, no one else... I mean, Lady was happy, but I don't think she's going to be working with them. Astronomer, public order, faction-wide. That can go on someone, though. Let's see who... We give, uh, we gave Li Zhu a court position, so he does have bonuses. Oh, this can go on one of our strategists, actually. Right, it's a better bonus than this. Hand it over. Right, the weapons. We were talking about weapons earlier. He can keep the spear, and then if we get anything legendary, we'll swap him. I don't think he needs a bow. Uh, none of these weapons actually suit you, brother. You can take a horse, however, and have a cup to drink. Zhang Lao is administrator, he's fine. Chen Gong is fine. Han Dang is just holding random weapons and items. Alright, Chen Bu is no longer a uh, administrator, so this item need to go on someone else who is. Like Zhu Zhi. So, let's snatch that item. Okay, nothing else. Guosi... Just trying to keep him happy. Zhou Yu... With really bad items. Uh, here, why don't you take Huang Zhong's old bow? Wow, he has really messy items, uh, but it's fine. He's also no longer an administrator. Here, we're going to take the reserves. And then we're going to give him the public order. Okay. Zhou Tai can take a better weapon. I mean, if you're in court, I guess you don't really need better stuff. He is decked out for someone in court. We might have him go out on the battlefield as a Burren Corp just to help, uh, ooh, model governor. Wait, Du Ji. Du Ji. Uh, who is Du Ji? Trying to remember. That's a good bonus. 5% all sources plus 4 public order. A lot of stat boosts as well. Hmm. We'll put him to use for sure. So I think we're good. 
quick look at the spies. All right, we're good. Let's continue. Lu Bu has declared war on us. Okay. Liu Bei once again doesn't want to help. Oh, this is Shi Yi's old faction, I think. All right, so this is our chance. Uh, we do like the fact that Lu Bu has declared war on us because his vassal is our uncle. So if we smash him, we can maybe get our uncle back. Uh, we have someone with over 160 in cunning. Good for us. Wait, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Who declared war on us? I think it's a faction over here. Uh, it's okay. That army is coming down. We'll go south and find them. Shu Wu is finally colonizing another one. They have four more to go before we turn on them. And I think we're going to end our episode here. Uh, we do have quite a bit of uh, factions attacking us from this direction. But since our army's here and Kong Rong's here to visit, uh, we'll launch our attack against uh, Kong Rong and also Luoyang. That way we can control the entirety of Luoyang and basically defend against Ma Teng here with the army. And then we'll sweep across. I don't know what Cao Cao's going to do. He's kind of blocking us, depending on who owns um, the farmland. But looking at the color of the uh, borders, I think it's Cao Cao. And elsewhere, Zamba is coming through. Liu Bei is not doing anything to help us. We might start requesting him, you know, to go to war on any of these factions for us. We'll figure that out next episode. Uh, but we're going to have to defend over here for a little bit. Uh, will our armies, you know, cruise to victory in the Shu lands? Um, Matong has everything up to the copper mine. So we'll be just taking all of this. Uh, Hu Mao is going to play survive, and this army will go down here, and then we'll probably pull them back. We might just recall the whole thing, and then put them over here, and launch the attack into the Shandong Peninsula over here. Because uh, that's where I think we're needed the most right now. So things are going well. We are making tons of gold. We're Emperor now, and we're getting 44 shared expertise every turn. So pretty much every turn we can uh, rank someone up, and having some very high quality officers here so hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time bye